I'm back with uh, a Marvel's Avengers uh, update, development update video uh, that was posted uh, today, uh, just by tonight, recently. Uh, so let's, let's go through it. Let's see uh, what what is discussed by the uh, the devs. So we say hi, hey everyone. We know many of you have been eagerly waiting for our next form of roadmap for Marvel's Avengers. We are ready to reveal the next full full run I have which is fair enough because uh, I don't want like uh, things to be rushed and then you got like bugs with the uh, new DRC so rather it gets tested uh, before that it, it actually gets released uh, and then there will be like uh, many bugs or anything and they could be like fixed uh, within the game so uh, he says well we could share some news about our next old day and we are proving that change of the game in the near and medium term. So in Mar in Marvel's Avengers core game system will involved with player base as we learn as they learn more about how players play and open up the Simpsons bit to launch have a grown that are sufficiently delivered in the most fun superhero team experience. We address some of this in the last patch uh, with the additional shipments and reworking of the gear upgrading system. I do like uh, the shipments, uh, you know, you get like the outfit he's more, you know, to unlock. Uh, so like a bit of working, working with it and my units up to uh, to like each, each time before the new month starts. So I got enough to actually unlock uh, the new outfit for, for uh, each month. Since we're working off the gear upgrade system, streamlined resource economy and other changes more of this type of work like a refresh we also have best like Red Bull takeover and corruptive libraries on going on a substantial part of, of the near term development. I do like the best, but it'd be nice if we had some new ones, you know, like not not the repeated ones, it'd be good like it came up with like Maybe like for Easter, we would like have an Easter event, you know, like maybe you have to find an Easter egg. You get like a, a, a bonus like for, for finding the Easter eggs, you know. So it'd be nice to do something like that, you know. So like uh, repeating like the the old events that we already done, you see. So, so, so to get some specific examples, let's take a sneak peek of the past. 2.3 could we plan to release in March 2022 a sample of changes of rig as well as some animacy progress for release sh shortly afterwards. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's gonna be really good. It says first Nick Fury is returning to Lee Shield and called today Future Avengers initiative missions alongside direct here. That sounds quite good that he's returning. In order where we have to save him though, like the Avengers, we have to do a mission and we had to rescue Nick Fury from Monica Rappuccini, uh, to show, like, you know, be interested to find out. This comes with a much needed rework of the war table and the mission select systems. We change you how to fight, select large missions, and the level of journey through the Avenger. This our primary goal is to approve the flow of new players to reduce frustrations in leveling process. The more organized, directed, experience we also create a larger more concentrated matchmaking pools for higher level players so this new shipment system added in 2.2 has been really successful and provided the value of a path for cosmetic re rewards while rewarded player but it has had its fairly major impact on our unit economy we plan to make adjustments in the next patch add the units as additional rewards to noble off in game activities where you get units and uh by doing it completely the mega hives uh the last one you get like loads of units uh for doing the met like the final mega hide the, the fourth one so that's quite good for units in that section oh that's not going to change but, uh that's quite a good one so it's last update we expect that they place a weekly awards by completing the Omega level threat and the raid. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really, have done the raid anyway. You know, I've done the uh, Omega level threat. You know, that's 
fairly like fairly straightforward and not not told about the raid uh, to be honest uh, but i know some people will be you know to to the raid just one of us we really like the resource that we plan it to extend per hair tester to mega high in the next update so that sounds quite good backwards lastly we're getting into priority critical books like improving race stability and play feedback which at least to do it i don't like uh, some games company that i'm not going to say the name in, in this uh, video so at least now i'm actually like looking at the books and the the try like to try to like they're actually like repairing the books you know like uh, Unlike uh, other games company that are doing a whole, you know. So, so stay tuned to the devs box and live stream. So I am looking forward to like it. The sh I wonder whether there's going to be a dev stream on Friday. I hope so. We could do it like they're coming back again. Well, where we plan to to over the change in detail, we get closer to the release. We we also can't wait to share more information about our long term plans. And we do soon as our teams finalise developments and law stretches. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't on the back of the studio, yeah, you know, in America, you know, with the lap, I'll just stay working at home on the back in the, uh, the gaming studio doing uh, the work. So we loved our adventures together. We are excited to show or share with you the adventures we have planned, the new ways to find new heroes to find with new challenges to face. And how we plan to continue expanding Marvel's Avengers tracks to play with 